Hi, my name is Georg Schroth and I'm one of the co-founders and CTO of Navis. My job is to constantly improve our products. And this is exactly what we're talking about today. If you're using uh, 3D laser scanning, um, then you know that uh, these laser scanners, um, they basically are creating sometimes so-called fringe points. And these points are basically um, artifacts that are created because um, your laser scanner is hitting, let's say, a chair or a ladder, or anything like a fine object. And it's not only hitting that object, but it's also hitting its background because the laser has some diameter. So much like a flashlight, it's not only hitting the object that you're pointing to, but also it's hitting the background. You basically then, um, your laser scanner will basically give you a, a point back that is not really existing. It's somewhere in the middle between the foreground and the background. So these so-called fringe points can be pretty annoying when you're modeling. So people have developed um, so-called fringe removal techniques or algorithms that try to remove those points in a rather heuristic way. And so over some rules or multiple, um, yeah, so to say techniques, you try to remove them as good as you can. However, this hasn't worked so well in the past. So there's still a lot of those fringe points that are actually remaining. So now we at Navis have tried to do it a little bit different. Um, the good thing is Navis is that we have a so-called mobile mapping system, which uses SLAM to position itself while it is scanning. And that means that we observe the objects from multiple different perspectives and have not only one um, measurement from one direction, but we have multiple measurements from multiple directions. So we can now use all these individual measurements and fuse them together thanks to our precise SLAM algorithm and basically thereby calculate the probability that this physical point or this measured point is actually existing. So by fusing all these individual measurements, let's say you hit um, the front of the chair 10 times and three times it passed through, then you know, okay, that's probably really the chair. Or if you hit something um, three times and then 10 times you go through this um, in space, then you can remove this. So ultimately you calculate a probability um, and that's why we call it also a probabilistic point cloud. And that ultimately allows us to remove those fringe points and to get to a very crisp and precise point cloud. However, it allows us to do even more than that. So imagine someone moving through your scan while you are scanning. And obviously he is creating, so to say, artifacts that are found in your point cloud. Thanks to our probabilistic point cloud algorithm, however, we can also detect that this is rather unlikely that this is a real uh, physical object because we have seen the same space also from other perspectives in other points in time. So we can remove these dynamic objects like persons walking through your scan as well, which lets you get a lot more productive and fast while you are scanning. So you don't have to look around whether there is a person or not. Now, however, with the uh, probabilistic point cloud, which is closely bound to our um, SLAM algorithm, you can also now have a very crisp and clean point cloud, which also speeds up the modeling part. And that allows us to be a lot faster and more efficient in a scan to BIM workflow.